Good morning! Today is February 17th, which means it's the 17th day of breaking my fast. Um, and it also means that there's two more days that I'll be eating and then I'll be going on a nine day fast on Monday, February 19th. Um, so yesterday I had that soup with the marinated mushrooms and I was a little bit concerned about eating it, but I wanted to just try and see what happened. And it seemed like it worked really well, even though I was concerned about the sea salt in the coconut aminos, using that to marinate the mushrooms. But I don't feel very swollen or anything. I don't have anything that's like particularly very swollen right now. So I think that it was okay. It wasn't like too, too much to that I used. Um, and I also had a bowel movement already. So that was really exciting for me because I was, I was also concerned about that with the mushrooms. Um, I know that's not quite um, what they say in the breaking the protocol, I think. I mean, it's a little unclear. They just say salads and raw soups, but they don't really mention like mushrooms. They say to stick with the fruits and yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit um, for me. I took a little leeway, I guess. Um, so anyway, I did that and I don't, f I feel pretty good. I mean, I just, I've been feeling a little tired lately and I think it has a mixture to do with um, working out, increasing my workouts. Like Andrew and I have been doing um, high intensity interval training. Um, and I think that my body hasn't done that in so long. So it's like, whoa, what's happening? We need rest, you know? Uh, Cause I did do movement, like some movement when I was doing the fast, I would do rebounding and, and things like that, but not quite as intense as what we were doing now. Um, so I think that's partly it. And I also think, you know, digesting food, it does take a lot of energy and it's something that I haven't done for a while, so I think that might be making me feel a little bit tired as well. I mean, it could also be the fact that I had some salt too yesterday, but I've been tired like the day before and the day before that, and I wasn't really eating the salt. It also could be just the combination of food that I've been eating, even though they're fruits and it's like, it's way more simple than what standard Americans eat. I mean, it could be a whole bunch of things, but all in all, I do feel really good still. Um, I mean, it also could be emotional stuff. You know, I was having a really difficult day, I think it was yesterday. Um, at first, like in the beginning of the day, that was really difficult and I, was, I wasn't, I was just having a really hard time with my emotions and um, digesting them and really, um, just being okay with everything and not, not uh, have, having the need to control the situation. Like I think, I can't really even remember what I was that upset about. I think it was, I was just having a, a struggle and a hard time with what I want to eat eventually and you know, what's the right thing to do. Like I get kind of caught up in that where it's like, if you really think about it, there is no right. You can just um, do different things and experiment with different things and see what works for you. And um, anyway, I just was feeling a little overwhelmed with that. So that could also contribute to me feeling tired because emotions have a lot to do with that. You know, when you're not in the right mind frame and when you, instead of coming from a place of gratitude and positivity and you focus on other things, the negativities, the worry, anxiety, you know, which is very easy to do. And in this world, you know, that's what most people do. They focus on all the anxiety they have or the worry or the fear, or, you know, what's their future going to be like? What, what's the next step? How do I pay this bill? You know, it's very easy to just feel really drained very quickly and very often. Um, so anyway, there's a whole, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of things it could be basically is my point. Um, but I'm excited to do the fast again for the nine days to see how I feel because this is kind of a cool thing to see like 18 days eating and nine days fasting just to see how that works for me um, and how I feel on one versus the other. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening so far. Um, Andrew and I woke up again as usual at our 4.30 time. It was a little bit difficult for me to get up this morning because it just felt super, super comfortable to get some extra cuddle time. Um, but we ended up getting up and I finally got out of bed. Um, it took me a little longer than usual, uh, but we went for a really nice walk. It was really cold. We definitely underdressed. Um, but now it, the sun is shining. It's warmed up a little bit. So I'm really excited because I'm actually gonna go for a massage. Um, I have a massage appointment at 12 
and then um, I'm getting some blood work drawn or some blood drawn to get um, blood work just to see because I did this fast and I kind of want to see where I'm at with um, you know what people think is healthy you know I, it, it doesn't really make that big of a difference for me but I just kind of want to see where I'm at in that regard because um, a lot of people would be like oh well you're not healthy like you fast you probably don't even have blood work this way I can be like yes I do have blood work and actually here are my numbers and this way people know that it's okay to fast and it's okay to eat raw fruits and vegetables and it's healthy and look at my blood work like look at my cholesterol look at all this stuff that's you know shows that I'm doing really well according to numbers that are based on probably not very healthy people to begin with but anyway um, so I'm getting that blood work drawn today um, which is why I haven't eaten anything yet um, I usually eat probably around like 11 or so like 10 30 11 which is where I've been kind of eating my first meal of the day um, but I'm just gonna wait till after I get the blood work done because I'm not I'm not sure if the doctor had um, requested a sugar um, test I guess a, sh a blood a blood sugar test and I know that you're not you're not supposed to eat before that or it's a certain amount of hours or something like that so I was just like oh well you know it's just a longer fast for me a longer dry window because I finished eating yesterday around seven was the last thing I had so it's you know past the 12 hour Point, which is what I was kind of doing anyway so I usually eat you know around 12 anyway like 11 10 between like 10 and 12 is what I've been doing um, and I've also since we've been doing the workouts I get a little bit thirsty and I've been having coconut water instead of water and I actually haven't drank any water since breaking my fast so I haven't had any water during the fast and I haven't had any since breaking my fast so I haven't had any actual water uh, I haven't consumed any water since mid-October 2017, probably, I think it was October 13th I started the fast, so I haven't had any water except the water that's in the tea, in the, um, the kidney tea that you make, that you boil up, that's the only water that I've consumed. Um, so when I've been feeling thirsty lately, I've just been drinking coconut water. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the plan today. And since I'm going to be in Hudson, I'll probably stop to get some more um, distilled water because we're using distilled water to do uh, colimas and enemas because um, that's the they say it's just like the purest and the best to use um, for that kind of thing. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I think since it's so nice out though, I'm gonna. Have, I also brought, I'm bringing fruit with me. I have a dragon fruit and some watermelon. So I think I'm gonna bring that with me and I think I wanna go to a uh, conservancy, conservancy, is that what you say? Conservancy? The what? A land conservancy um, the nearby and just eat my fruit and maybe film it, you know, and just enjoy the day because it's, so it's so beautiful outside. Spring is in the air. It's it's a little bit chilly today. It's a little bit colder than the other days, but the sun is shining and it's magnificent and wonderful. So that's kind of the plan for my day. Uh, I'll keep you posted. I kind of do want to have the tomato soup again with the marinated mushrooms tonight. So we'll see how that goes because I do have a lot of fruit that I haven't quite gotten through yet, but I still have tomorrow where I could just eat pretty much all the citrus that I have left. I'm either going to eat it or I'm going to just juice it all and make orange popsicles because um, we have popsicle makers so I haven't really decided yet I just haven't really been into eating oranges right like currently so um, yeah that's the plan um, so yes I will check back in later I hope you have a marvelous Saturday and I hope you can relax and really find joy in the day and come from a grateful place. Um, and I know sometimes it's difficult, believe me, I've had my difficult times, but the more you come from gratitude, I'm finding for myself, is the more I feel happy and 
the more I can connect with Andrew and the more I can connect with my family. Okay, so I just had my massage and my massage and it was wonderful. I kind of messed up with the blood work getting it done because they closed at 11 this morning and so I kind of messed that up. But that's okay because um, they'll be open on Monday and I'll just come on Monday. Uh, so yeah, I'm very hungry. Who are you holding for? I'm holding for Andrew. Uh, okay, hold on. I'll try again. Sure. So yeah, I'm very hungry now and I had a piece already of the watermelon that I took with me. It's really, really good. So I'm gonna enjoy that. All right, everyone. I just got home. Um, it was pretty successful. I had a really amazing massage. It was like really awesome. I haven't had a massage like that in a really long time. And I'm so grateful to my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. They actually gifted this to me before Andrew and I um, got married. So it's been like two years and I wasn't sure if they were gonna accept the gift certificate, but she did. She honored the gift certificate because there was actually no expiration date on the gift certificate, which I was so thankful and grateful for. So I actually was able to um, go and get that massage and it was such a great treat for me today. I did mess up a little bit because I was gonna get some blood work done, but it wasn't meant to be today because I kind of messed up the time. I knew she said, 11 a.m. but for whatever reason I wrote down 11 p.m. because I was like oh it's at a hospital they're there late maybe I misheard that but no I <laughs> kind of messed that up but it's okay I was able to sit in the parking lot and have some watermelon and uh, then I ended up getting some distilled water and now I'm home so um, there's a few like I'm I really enjoyed that meal last night and I just I'm sitting here thinking about it, so I'm definitely having that for my last meal of the day. But I'm still kind of hungry because I had a water, I had some watermelon, but it was half of a tiny watermelon, so it really wasn't that much. Um, so um, I do have a lot of miscellaneous fruits laying around because I bought three pears the other day, but I only ate two, so I have one left for that. And then I have a whole bunch of citrus. Um, so I think that I'm actually going to eat this dragon fruit that I have um, and I'm already starting to soak the dates for the soup and I would like to cut the mushrooms, um, the mushrooms, 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 um, and marinate them um, so I can have that tonight for supper and I think I might add a little bit of the pea shoots that Andrew brought home the other day. Um, and instead of onions, I'm gonna use um, scallions today because uh, the onions were a little intense, but I do like that flavor of the, the onion, the, the allium family, you know, the onion family. Um, so I'm going to add this green onion instead. Um, and I'm also really excited because I think I'm going to, well, it depends on how I feel because uh, I have some I have our dehydrator tray soaking in the sink right now at um, where we wash our dishes and I have to deal with that. Um, so I also wanted to experiment with making a tofu eggless salad. Um, I really love Moshe's tofu eggless salad but there's a lot of things that I don't necessarily want to eat that's in there in that one and also I can't get a hold of it anymore so I would like to attempt again like the first attempt I, m I made to make a tofu eggless salad came out pretty good but I think I can make it even better um, so I want to try that and um, so it depends on how I feel because I have to take all those trays out of the dish out of the um, sink so that I can wash the dishes that I'm going to be making from my soup so that I can then use the blender to make this tofu eggless salad um, so we'll see, that might be a tomorrow project or a Monday project, but I have the fresh dill that I wanted and I got the tofu. And I think I have mostly all the other ingredients. I wrote down what I wanted to put in it because I did some research. I was looking at other people's um, pins on Pinterest and I also looked at Moshi's um, ingredient list. So um, I really want to attempt that again. Um, and I think what really makes 
what I really like about the Moshi's is like it's creamy, but there's also texture in it. So I'm obviously I'm not I'm gonna blend up most of the tofu, but I'll probably like probably half. I'll probably blend up half and then I'll crumble the rest. But I'll definitely document that one, I think. But if I don't, I will take a picture and you can see what it looks like at the end. Um, anyway, so that's the plan so far for the afternoon. I'm also wanting to read. I'm really liking the book, the paleo fantasy book that I'm reading. I think it's really awesome so far and pretty interesting. Um, I've always been interested in um, archaeology and anthropology just because I think humans are fascinating and also where we came from and how we evolved is very interesting to me. So this book is pretty cool um, so far. I'm only on the first chapter, so I read the introduction and I'm in the middle of the first chapter and it's just the things that she's saying is pretty interesting because a lot of people are like, oh, well, we ate all this meat, but it's like, mm, is that really true? Is that really true? So, and then and then they were saying that um, the there's evidence of tapeworms, parasites, already starting from, um, I think it's 1.7 million years ago. I believe is what they said in the book. I have to check that again, but tapeworms existed then. Isn't that crazy? It's so crazy, these parasites and uh, all these viruses and bacteria that have been living for so long. Like, I can't even, I can't believe that, like, honestly. Um, but I also can, it's, you know, it makes sense, but it's just like something you never really thought of. I don't, it's something that I never really thought about, you know, it's very interesting stuff. So I'm really excited about that. And I think the next book, I already have the next book I picked out that I want to read. There's so many books that I want to read right now. It's insane. But then I get sidetracked too because I get inspired by looking at other people's Instagram and Pinterest because it's so cool. Like all the stuff people are creating and coming up with and their beautiful photography. Um, so it's really exciting to do that too. And I just sometimes get a little sidetracked. And I'm like, oh my gosh, look what they're making. Oh, I want to make that, you know? So anyway, I'm excited to do things like that. But I. I'm gonna start right now by eating this dragon fruit. Um, Andrew and I uh, went up to Albany last weekend and we got some durian and we got a dragon fruit. It's, um, they're so cool. Look at all the seeds in there. It's so cool. So cool. So, I'm excited to eat this. Um, they're not. The flavor's not over, I mean, if you haven't had one before, the flavor's, it's not like overbearing. It's not like eating durian, um, but most people haven't really had durian. I'm just, like all my fruit friends and people who go to the Woodside Fruit Festival, they obviously love durian and they've had durian and it's amazing. And if you haven't tried it, give it a try. It smells so different than what it tastes like. It's so strange, but it has very, it's the flavor is amazing and the dragon fruit is more subtle but it's really nice um at least it, you know that's what i think um so you know branch out eat different fruits you've never had before um and you don't know how to eat, to eat them either there's so many youtube videos where you can just be like when's this ripe how do i eat this you know and there's people who like literally film themselves eating fruit and like opening up fruit and things like that so you know youtube is your friend Go YouTube anything and you'll find out how to do it. There's so many uh, YouTube videos on how to open up jackfruit now, which is great. And there's like a million YouTube videos about opening up a pomegranate. That's, those are kind of annoying, but you know, there's there's so many different things you could do to open them up to make it easier. So anyway, I'm gonna eat this dragon fruit now um, and then I'll cut up the mushrooms and marinate them. So yes, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm soaking the dates already. You see, these are, um, so I'm soaking these dates just in water. We use well water, we get our, the pump, the water, our water bottle, we fill it up with well water. And I use the um, Tier Farms Organic Deglet dates. I was gonna get Medjool dates, but they didn't have any in the store. So I got the Deglet dates. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. And then they're gonna just soak in here for a little bit and I'll mix them occasionally. And that's it, they're just covered. 
they're covered in the coconut aminos and that's literally it this is like the simplest a very simple dinner to make okay so i'm feeling hungry and i'm just gonna make the soup because i really want it so i'm gonna do it so you will need a high speed blender for this to make the soup i have a vitamix so that works really well and then i used i'm using an entire um, pint of tomatoes, of grape tomatoes, and one Roma, because that's what I have. That's hopefully gonna be my last meal. We'll see how I feel. I'm feeling just like super hungry today, but I also feel like I might be getting my period soon. Or if we'll see if I get my period at all, so we'll see. But I am starting a fast again on Monday. So I'm just being gentle and kind with myself. And I know that I'm not gonna be eating any food starting Monday. So anyway, that was it. That's simple that quick, that simple, that delicious. It's just delicious. Okie dokie. So I just got back from picking up Andrew. I totally, totally, totally fell like hardcore asleep. Um, Cause I was really, really exhausted. It's been difficult. It's been like, you know, kind of draining waking up at 4.30 every morning, but it's also really awesome. So there's just like, I don't know, there's a combination of things that may, may be contributing to the fact that I'm tired, but, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, I think that eating the tomato soup with the marinated mushrooms two days in a row might not have been the wisest decision. I'm feeling a little bit like dehydrated or just like, you know, not, I think the salt and the coconut amuse is a little bit much. Um, but you know, I tried it and I was doing fine yes today earlier, but after that tonight's soup with the marinated mushroom, it was just a little bit much. So I'm gonna keep it very simple tomorrow and then I start the fast again on Monday. So I'm not really that concerned, but I definitely, um, I'm gonna drink some prune juice that I have. Um, we got this at Trader Joe's. Um, it's 100% organic prune juice. So I'm gonna drink some of that because I'm feeling like thirsty and I think it'll help move things along um, in my system. Um, I am having bowel movements, but I feel like Maybe not enough for what I've been eating. Um, but, you know, I did enjoy what I ate, so I'm not gonna, uh, you know, be upset about it or anything, because I made it with love, and I really did enjoy it, so. But you live and you learn. You live and you learn. So, anyway, I'm gonna drink some prune juice, and then I'm gonna call it a night, take care of my teeth, go to sleep in the arms of my husband, and wake up tomorrow morning, and probably gonna go for a little walk. It's snowing. I had a feeling, I was like, I know that spring, it feels like spring is very close, but I have a feeling we're gonna get at least one more snow. Did I call it or did I call it? I did. So we'll see. Hopefully this is the last one, but if not, that's okay. But I had a feeling that we were gonna have at least one more snow. It usually gets really like warm and you're like, oh my gosh, spring. And then <sighs> snowstorm. So. Anyway, yes, have a wonderful night, until next time, aka tomorrow, good night. <laughs>